Picky Book by Anthony Brown. Mr. Pickett lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick, in a nice house with a nice garden, and a nice car in the nice garage. Inside the house was his wife. Hurry up with the breakfast, dear," he called every morning before he went off to his very important job. Hurry up with the breakfast, Mum," Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. After they left the house, Mrs. Pickett washed all the breakfast things, made all the beds, vacuumed all the carpets, and then she went to work. Hurry up with the meal, Mum. The boys called every evening when they came home from the very important school. Hurry up with the meal, old girl! Mister Pickett called every evening when he came home from his very important job. As soon as they had eaten, Missus Pickett washed the dishes, washed the clothes, did the ironing, and then she cooked some more. One evening, when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. Where's Mum? demanded Mister Pickett when he got home from work. She was nowhere to be found. On the mantelpiece was an envelope. Mister Pickett opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. But what shall we do? said Mister Pickett. They had to make their own meal. It took hours, and it was horrible. Next morning, they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours, and it was horrible. The next day, and the next night, and the day after that, Missus Pickett was still not there. Mr. Pickett, Simon, and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed the clothes. Soon the house was like a pigsty. When is Mum coming home? The boys squealed after another horrible meal. How should I know? Mr. Pickett grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. One night, there was nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around and find some scraps," snorted Mister Pickett. And just then, Missus Pickett walked in. "Please come back," they snuffled. So Missus Pickett stayed. Mr. Pickett washed the dishes. Patrick and Simon made the beds. Mr. Pickett did the ironing, and they all helped with the cooking. They actually enjoyed it. Mum was happy too. She mended the car.